I've always loved the look of sea kayaking and I do a lot of walking and climbing up here in, uh, in the highlands and particularly in the northwest coast. And you look down and there's a few kayakers gliding seamlessly through the lochs. Then you're really, really jealous of them. And I've been meaning to do it for years. I'm Erin Bastian. Uh, I'm a guide for Wilderness Scotland. So we are uh, on the West Coast Explorer trip, uh, which is a great trip to kind of introduce you to expedition kayaking. Um, we are based uh, just on the inside of the Isle of Skye. We're going to kayak around Alien Donan Castle and then we're going over the Mamratigan Pass to Loch Horn and we're going to kayak around uh, Noidart, around the north side of Noidart. Expedition kayaking I think is about the freedom to be able to go anywhere. Uh, so we've come up Loch Horn and uh, from where we set off there's no road um, and you can only access it by boat. So there's something really unique, something a bit special about kind of going to places where, where no one else goes to, especially the islands. You can camp on your own island like we did last night and uh, yeah, land on beaches. They're pretty stunning. Yeah, I think one of the, one of the benefits of kayaking is that unlike hiking, much as I love hiking and climbing, you've got to carry every ounce. And in this case, the boat is doing the carrying for you. You can take nicer food, a few more stoves, you can cook up a really good meal, collect mussels. Uh, it's just a little bit more comfortable, I think, especially if you're just heading out for a couple of days. There have been a few moments on this trip so far when there's been glassy stillness on the water and you're just gliding through it and you can look down. I mean, the water up here is it's some of the cleanest water in the Northern Hemisphere. So, and you know, when you're just gliding across the, that, that glassy mirror at the top, you can look down and see all the um, the seaweed and the, the life down there and you're kind of dimly aware you know that you're just floating in between two worlds. The first few days it was quite easy really but then on day five we did some proper sea paddling which was in the sound of sleet between Skye and the mainland and it was about 18 miles per hour winds and we were doing about eight knots and the seas were not high but they were high enough to be very scary at points and we went round some rocks I was a bit too close to the rocks and uh, the guide gently came back towards me and said Mike you're doing really well just keep it up and that's when I knew I must be in trouble <laughs> I was really pleased to get into some dry clothes and get into the pub next to a fire and get a pint. That pint is one of the best pints I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Seeing some of the things we've seen this week, it's, they're simply things I never expected to see and it really makes you look anew at the natural world particularly and think about your own capabilities and what else you could be doing to engage with it.